Yes, indeed it is. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> yeah, we're getting out of here. Oh, all right. What the heck is this guy doing up here? Not sure what he wants. Turn left and then turn right in 900 feet. I guess he wants to try and come in here, but... Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here, out of this uh, pit, throw out of here. But yeah, now that's a good night's sleep. We're gonna have to be a little careful out here because it looks a little slick out here. I'm not saying it actually is, but you know. It is a little bit slick, that would surprise me, that's Creek, the way it 40. looks to me. Yeah, we're, we're light, right? So, we gotta wait until my uh, tires warm up a little bit till we get a bit of a grip. But, now these aren't even parking spots right here, and that's all filled up here. That's how full this truck stop is. These guys are all parked actually illegally, technically, if you want to speak that way, you know? They made their own parking spots, you know. That's yeah, all right. Sometimes you just gotta park. You gotta park. That's the way it is. But how's everybody doing out there this fine morning? Uh, today is the 18th, so that would actually be wow, Christmas Day. Wow, I'm impressed. It's actually Christmas Day today. Why time you watch this video? So. Merry Christmas to you guys and a Happy New Year from the Trucker Rudy Show. Yeah, there we go. We got the green light right away. What's up with that, eh? That's awesome. Oh, one guy even parked right there on the shoulder. <laughs> oh no, he decided to put his four ways on, so. Alright, well, we'll give him lots of room. I don't know what he's trying to do, but keep to the left on maybe he's got Creek, a brake that's 40. locked up or something. I don't know. He's trying to back up over there, so. But anyways, let's get our day started, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Enjoy your Christmas day. And uh, we'll uh, see what else we will be able to show you today. Well, guys, we've been going now for a good while already. Yeah, two hours behind us, so I figured, well, time to turn on the cameras again. Yeah, I'm starting to see them big hills up there coming up. Well, we'll probably be entering uh, West Virginia here before you know it. And they were saying there's supposed to be some rain up here, and looks like they already got some rain up here, so I don't know if I'll actually uh, go through any rain here yet or not, but uh, we might. We might see some. I don't know what this four-wheeler looks like. He lost control and went into the ditch up there, it looks like, but uh, yeah. They were saying that just before that rain system there is supposed to be a little bit of ice rain and so far I haven't seen anything but hey, we're not through the day yet, right? So uh, we might still run into it later on, but I ain't gonna complain if we don't, right? <laughs> yep, that's right. But yeah, I went ahead and uh, reserved me a spot out there on uh, I-95 there in uh, South Carolina so that way I got me a spot reserved there so I know I got me uh, a guaranteed spot so I know I can uh, park there for tonight so I don't have to worry about getting parking tonight I know that's a fairly big truck stop up there I looked it up there it's got 200 parking spots up there but you know, you never know, right? It might be a big truck stop, but that doesn't mean there's guaranteed to be a park in there, right? And since uh, I don't remember ever being down there, I don't really know if I've ever been at the truck stop. I really don't think so. So, uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go down there and, and we got a guaranteed spot. We'll probably fuel up over there. I think I can make it up there with my fuel that I got. We got 495 miles to go yet. 
Yeah, so that means we've done about 120 miles now. Or maybe even 130, uh, 130 miles now because uh, I know it was like uh, 200, uh, 620 some miles to get down to my delivery. And, and so we still have 494 miles to go. But yeah, looks like the, the road is actually starting to dry up here. So that's nice. But we will have some pretty good hills coming up here in uh, West Virginia. I know I've taken this road lately a few times here already. So we'll see if we can show you something new or, you know, maybe interesting to show you. Go from there, right? Hey, this tune is dedicated to all the great truck driving songs and singers of the past. I just crossed Fraser Creek at one o'clock today. No one riding with me, so there wasn't much to say. I looked into that West Coast mirror and saw a nice rainbow. And by the way, here comes three big semis in a row. That girl I left in Little Rock left me with a smile So I grabbed my breath mints off the dash and I thought of her a while The last thing that she said to me was, Theodore, go slow And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row I wonder if this Peterbilt could talk, what would it say? Would it tell me about the sights it's seen across the USA? Hey, I hear Stone Cold Fingers playing on the radio. And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row. I hope I can gear this old truck down, cause there's a cop. Oh, I could have used a little more speed to get me to the top Of Bon Eagle where a few have died and left us feeling low And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row Beating through the windshield, melting my dentine. So I pulled down the sun visor and it fell between my knees. A picture of that truck stop waitress we all knew is flow. And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row. Someone on the CB is cussing them orange cones and the brake check up ahead. Is making my tires moan. I see that black man holding up a sign and it reads slow. And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row. Will they ever finish Highway 59? I sure don't know. And by the way, here comes three more semis in a row. Man, I can't believe this construction. We're in a hex at the fifth gear. It's here somewhere. Man, I gotta get back to Little Rock. I wonder what ever happened to old Flo. I tossed him up there in that cab when he was barely eight weeks old. Best friend that I ever had That was 15 years ago He's a good boy Old Renegade Joe That old black lab Is part of my life He rides with me coast to coast Keeps me awake when I drive all night The times he saved me God only knows he's a good boy, 
Oh, Renegade Joe Renegade Joe loves the road Loves the smell of that black diesel smoke And Renegade Joe loves me heart and soul And I love old Renegade Joe I remember one time when he was a pup I pulled to the shoulder, he had to go a half hour later, I had him laying in the bunk After running on foot a mile down the road But he was worth it Old Renegade Joe Yeah, we started Welcome to West Virginia, ladies and gentlemen Here we go We're in Drink, West Virginia I think we're all coming off a of church or something there. They we're all coming off of that exit ramp there. And a couple of ladies there came almost to a stop there too. So I moved there in the left lane there to so get out of their way. And that way they can come on to the highway and all that good stuff. But here we go. We are now in West Virginia. Would have been nice to videotape this with the drone, but uh, no place to park over here so we ain't gonna be able to do anything there was another four-wheeler that did that crap you know halfway on the ramp and then they come to a stop you know instead of getting actually on the ramp and hammer down you know let's go yeah i don't know what's with these people here today i don't know if they don't know how to drive or what but it seems that way or I just, I'm in a hurry. I don't know which one it is. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> nah, no, nah, I'm not in a hurry at all. I got me a reserved park, so parking spot, so I don't have to be in a hurry. So I can just relax and continue driving, right? Wow, that's beautiful there to the left. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Nice big river up there. But, uh... Yeah, I just had me a little bit of a pit stop there and you guys probably saw that drone footage that I had there Did a little videotaping up there and Got some good shots there. I think we'll move over into the right lane now I think he finally got it in gear so it looks like he's finally going so We just can hammer down too Yeah Still looks like we're going to get some rain in a little bit here, a little bit later, but uh, as of right now it's not doing anything, but look, I was stopped there and I looked at the radar again and it looks like it's a little less than what it was before, but still looks like we will get some rain. So we'll see how much we will get. But, but yeah, I'm just cruising right along here, that's for sure. We'll get to see some mountains up here again. Here we go, going into a tunnel, yeah. We actually got a couple of them here. I think there's two back to back up here. Yeah, might not be able to see much of me anymore, but hey, we're going through a tunnel and we will be entering Virginia right about now here. As soon as we got about in the middle of this tunnel, we will be entering Virginia. Yes, indeed. So we still have 286 miles to go, but uh, hey, we done good Cross already border, today. Entering Virginia. There you go. We done about uh, five and three quarter hours, I would say. Five and a half, five three quarter hours, roughly worth the driving that we've done so far so, so yeah we're doing all right I uh, will be uh, getting out of the tunnel here right away and we're in a pretty high elevation right now and just before we got to the tunnel it was actually snowing so let's see what it's going to do on this side of the tunnel here it looks all white so probably snowing <laughs> yeah sure enough it is there it is you can see it. It is definitely, definitely snowing. That's for sure. Yeah, out 
that GPS is a little bit behind. It always does that when I lose signal, whatever, like sometimes when I go under an overpass, when I lose signal, then I will say speed warning, you know? I don't know why it does that, but every once in a while I'll do that, but yeah, we're in the mountains up here in Virginia now, officially. But hey, it's all right. I'm gonna put the wipers on on full blast so that we can clean our windshield. You guys can see something, right? But yeah, rocky cap. That's what it says there on the sign. I'm not sure what that is, but wouldn't surprise me. We got a chicken house up here somewhere. But yeah, continue on with our journey and. I'll probably make me a little bit of a pit stop here somewhere yet. I'm starting to get hungry. I didn't need anything there earlier. I might pull me into a rest area somewhere and make me a sandwich. Give me a bite to eat. Alright guys, we are just coming up to the scale here in Virginia. Look at that. That's a beautiful sign, don't you think so? That says closed. <laughs> Yeah, what better can you ask for than a sign that says closed? Yeah, I like it that way. <clears throat> Just before here, there I made me a pit stop again. Had to use the go. I had to go use the restroom, and I did that. But they do look like they are in there. Sure does look like they're in there. So. <laughs> and uh, so I made me a bit of a pit stop there had me a bite to eat and uh, all that good stuff you know and looking at the radar uh, weather radar there a little bit and, <clears throat> and uh, it looks like we will be running into some more snow here a little bit it looks like our mixture of rain and snow and then after that it's just supposed to be rain but I did go ahead and open up my front cover a little bit so more air can get through the engine. Because I was starting to get hot, you know, like my fan was having to kick in here every once in a while just to cool the engine off a little bit. And so I said, yep, it's time to open her up a little bit. And since there's uh, good hills up here, you know, you need to have that open so, uh, air can come through and cool off the engine right as we climb these hills and stuff like that but yeah it's starting to get towards the evening and we still have 270 miles to go pretty much so uh well that would be to our delivery i think it's 20 miles or 25 miles less than from the flying j where i'm going to be spending the night at but uh yeah that's kind of what we're looking at so uh, we will probably see a little bit of mixture of some stuff up here. I wouldn't be surprised if it would be snow though. <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see I guess. No matter what we got to get through it right? But uh, it is supposed to be the warmest day today out here in South Carolina. It looks like for the whole week so uh, yeah and we're going to enjoy it too. I mean, I even climbed out of the truck here. I wasn't wearing no jacket whatsoever. Just walked right inside. I mean, it was a little bit on the cool side, <clears throat> but after coming uh, from Manitoba, where it's like 20 below zero, Celsius that is, you come up to here and it's uh, zero degrees Celsius of, or even on the plus side, then it's like uh, it ain't cold at all and I believe if I'm correct we got a tunnel to go through here yep it says there tunnel to go through again so I don't think I'm gonna show you this one too much I mean you'll see the entrance here in a minute or two but I think we'll cut the cameras as we go in so you can see the big mountain we got to go through so let's hope that doesn't collapse while we're in there right well, it shouldn't, right? Almost looks like they got like an emergency 
Oh no, that's just where they park vehicles there, but I think they got like an emergency line in the middle there where they can get into. And they got openings here where you have like emergency exits. <clears throat> but anyways, I thought, I, you know, I thought I wasn't going to show you this, but hey, <laughs> I guess I decided to talk and then that's what happens. <laughs> you get through this and that's the way it goes, right? But yeah, it looks like they do have doors there, but every 100 feet or something like that. And those are emergency exits or entrance or whatever you want to call it. Get in there and get out if you uh, have to. And there's telephones there every once in a while too. But here we go. We're just about to get ready to get out of here. Out of this tunnel anyways. Yeah, there we go. Take a minute for the camera to adjust. Yeah, it always adjusts to, uh, it automatically adjusts to the settings that it needs, right? So, yeah, anyways, we'll continue cruising along here and uh, make our way towards our delivery, right? Well, 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 guys, we have made it to our Fly NJ, which is only 22 miles away from our delivery yeah that's awesome i like it that way oh yeah so we got us a front row parking here which is reserve parking and i was pretty much the only one that got the reserve parking up here but hey that doesn't matter at least i got me a good parking spot i'm very close to the building up there if you can see that so that means i got good internet up here is able to hook into the internet here no problem got pretty good internet here too so i was able to upload two uh, videos last night and i'm uploading the other one this morning that rendered overnight so uh yeah at least we'll be good to go in that department so uh but anyways i figured i'd close off my video and uh we'll get out of here and then we'll go do our delivery tomorrow and see what kind of reload we get yeah i'm kind of curious to find out what we'll get so but anyways, we appreciate you guys watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. All them good things. Share the video. That, that makes us love our job, right? Yeah. So, have a good one. We'll see you right here tomorrow morning on the Trucker Rudy Show. <laughs>